by the messenger of wax, wood, and writing, Phineasium to his lover Calitoris, with trembling heart, with mind and soul distressed, with tears, sends his wishes for her help, and please, will you send help? Alas, Lewis, I don't know where to turn for help to send him. What kind of help? Money? Silver? You want to send him a gift of silver in exchange for a gift of wood? I have been sold, my darling, to a foreigner, a Macedonian officer, for 2,000 drachmas. The man paid 1,500 before he left, and we only await the other 500. The officer left a token, a seal in wax, and when a woman comes with an identical seal, I am to go with her. She is fixed for this day, next Dionysia. That's tomorrow. I'm due. Let me finish. Yes, go on. I can imagine I am talking to him. Read on. It is a bittersweet potion you fix for me. This is the end of all our happy hours, our loving meetings, our kisses and blisses. Our lovers' close embraces, soft lips that sweetly nibble, breasts that gently press, and all the lovers' mystic rapture, now all shattered, scattered to the winds, all lost beyond recall. Now I shall be waiting to learn how much you love me, or how much you pretend to love me. Farewell. It's a terrible letter. Doesn't it make you weep? No, I've got eyes on come a stone, pencils to drop out. Be quiet! Bally swords around! I'd like to see her shins pop. Come on out there! Out here, a lot of you! Not worth your keep! I should never get a day's work out of them! Asses! <laughs> More like asses than any I ever saw! With hides tanned till they can't feel it anymore! Bidding them hurts you more than it does them! Just wasters of whip leather, that's what they are. Oh, wait a moment. I have some orders for my boys. Boys, where are you? Come out and listen to me. Now then, my pretties, all you have to do is enjoy your little selves and comfort, ease, and luxury and make yourselves the most desirable commodities. Sisyllus. Your friends are the oil men with gallons of stuff in store, so I want bags of bottles of it delivered here without delay, or tomorrow I have you bottled up into a bag and delivered to the shop down the road, where they'll give you a bed all right, not to sleep on. I don't know how young you have been to tolerate her existence. Oh, shut up. Oh, I'm not with you. You're a nuisance. I won't say another word. Well, don't say another word. It's the same. You and I have got another Next. Phoenicium, hi, yes, the gentleman's pet. A oh, pet? Oh. You're feeling so right. What do you need to tell us? Can you guess what we want? I can guess. You want to see me ruined? Well, partially that. But what we want from you is a few days. My mistress is terribly sorry she couldn't pay you the agreed upon amount on the agreed day. She could have paid me a long time ago if she wanted to. Could have taken out a loan, borrowed from a friend. Oh, I have a dog. I can't raise a penny anywhere. All I can do is to die. To love and my investigation. She's no true lover who is ready to keep on giving. She must pay, pay, pay again. When she's got nothing left, she must stop loving. Haven't you any pity at all? Not when you come up empty handed. Your words don't ring on my counter. All the same, I'd be glad to see you alive and well. But seriously, you're not going to sell my boy right now? I sure you are not. He's already sold. <gasps>
Those wretched fellows are for a drachma apiece. Not any person is able to prevail on me to rise for less than a drachma. I don't cook a dinner too, like other cooks, who uh, bring up seasoned meadows of grass upon their dishes, who turn the guests and oxen and supply the grass. This herbage too, do they further season with other herbs, put in coriander, fennel, garlic, orage. They add to sorrel, cabbage, beet, and spinach. But where is she? Am I to have, not have a silly, silly fellow to be thus talking to myself alone? I think she has put a trick upon myself as I fancy myself one knave. I have been poorly on my guard against another knave. By my truth, I'm undone. If this fellow's off, I shall not carry into effect this day what I intended. But see, there she is, a statue that deserves a whipping. How stately she does stalk along. How now, by my faith, I was looking about for you. I was very greatly afraid that you were off. It was my character to do so, I must confess. Where were you loitering? Where I pleased. Never mind, I believe the house is ill. Why so? Because it is vomiting forth of him. <laughs> is this she? This is her own self. This is a worthless commodity. <laughs> do you see that? She doesn't go straight, but sideways, just like a crab. What's the name of this person? Bolly over the pimp, do I know her? I am the very person, young lady, that you are looking for. What? Are you Molly? I really am. She. How are you clothed? A housebreaker? I think if you were to see me in the dark, you would keep your hands off. Oh, ho, oh, tis nothing more or less than Euripides Nuts, her very own self. I recognize it. Hello, you. Euripides Nuts is her name. I know that I have rightly given you the letter since you have mentioned the name of Euripides Nuts. How fair is she? By my trust, just as a brave woman and a good soldier should. But make haste, I beg, to read this letter through, for it is requisite to do so, and to take the money at once and send out the damsel. Should she prove mischievous towards me? But in faith, for my part, I hope not, for I wish well to her. By my faith, I'm undone. They are very slowly, in, they are very slowly coming out of doors. With baggage packed up, my heart is waiting, ready. If she doesn't bring out the damsel together with herself to fly away to exile up from my breast. <laughs> I'm a conqueror. I got the better of my weary guards. <laughs> Don't weep. You know not what the matter is, Venetian. But before long, I'll let you know when you are resting. I'm not leading you to that Macedonian long teeth fellow who now causes you to be weeping. To her will I lead you, who you especially long to be. I'll cause you to before very long to be embracing Calitoris! Hello! Open, open the door! So, tell Simo somebody that I'm here! <clears throat> the voice of a wrestling fellow is calling me out of my doors. Well, what is this? How is this? What is it I see in this guise? Pleasant to do. 